Hello, Jacob. This is Colin from Auto Savvy in Indianapolis, giving you a little walkthrough video on this 2018 Chrysler Pacifica that you're interested in. So starting off on the outside, we got that granite crystal metallic clear coat paint, which has a nice little shine to it when the sun's hitting it just right. As you can see, you can kind of see my reflection in the car. Very, very nice paint on there. I love the way it looks. Then as we're going back, you can see there's some tint on the back windows for some privacy for your passengers. Then we'll just keep coming around. And then it's the same on this side. So we'll go ahead and hop to the inside. We'll start on the driver. So if you actually see this right here, that little marking, that means that you have heated mirrors. So in the winter, you know, it gets pretty cold in Indiana. You get ice stuck on there. I'll tell you, those things are a blessing. I have them in my car and I absolutely love them. I'm starting off over here. We got the standard, you know, just your windows and stuff over here. Got the automatic windows for your driver and passenger side. And then we step in. We got that black and alloy interior, but you also have these black leather seats, which are very, very comfortable. And if you go ahead and look right here, you got a bunch of controls on your steering wheel. You can call people, talk to your car, mess with the screen up in between the speedometer with this one. Set your cruise control over here. And then we go ahead and take a look over here. You got your infotainment center and you actually do have seat warmers, but it's, you would adjust them from in here. So if you go to controls right there where it has a seat, there you go. You can set your seat warmers for your driver and passenger seat. And then you have your actual air controls down here as well. And this is actually your gear shifter. It works just like normal. You pr press on your brake, but instead of just shifting it backwards, you just twist this. And then as we go down, you got a USB port and an aux cord right there with some storage as well. Then you press this out, got some more storage down there. Then you actually have, as you can see, a USB port and a 12 volt port right there as well, along with more storage under there. Then you got your cup holder right here. And that that's about it for the front right there. So we'll go ahead and hop to the back. Then it's got the automatic door, so you just press it once and it opens. Then if you look up here, you actually have a little movie screen for your players in the back and the CD goes up there so they can control it completely. Then you actually have USB ports built in the back of the seats as well so they can charge your phones or whatever they would need. You also have extra storage back here. So if you just pull this up, as you can see, it opens up down there so you can have, you can store whatever you need. Then, oh. If you ever want to drop the seats so then it's easier to get in as well, just press that button and it moves these seats forward so it's easier for people to get in and out. And then whenever you want to move it back, just give it one little push and it goes right back. And you also have cup holders right there for the rear passengers as well. And there's a third row back there as well. But one thing I really love about these is there's this little shield right here that'll help give you even more privacy. And all you do is, as you can see over here, it's put down. All you do is grab this little lever, pull it up, and then it just goes in right there. It actually blocks out a lot of sun too, so it'll get nice and dark, especially if you're trying to sleep or something. And then when you wanna shut the door, just press that button and it shuts for you. Then as we go to the trunk, just give this one little tap and just like the doors, it's automatic, so it'll open up for you. And as you can see, I have, it has a 60-40 split and I have the 60 drop down into the trunk, but the other seat up. So as you can see with the seats drop, there's tons of room to haul whatever you would need to haul back here. And if you can see in the third row, there's also USB ports back there as well. But if you ever want to drop this or pull it back up, all you'll do is just grab this little string right there push it back up then pull this back and boom now your seats are back to normal and you still have a good amount of space even with the third row put up as well and there's also a 12 volt plug-in back here as well and then whenever you want to shut the trunk just press that and it shuts for you and that about wraps it up but if there's anything you'd like me to go into more specific detail of just let me know and i'd be more than happy to